Welcome back my lovely viewers. Today we are asked to solve this. Okay, the first thing we need to do is to make sure we put everything in the same base. So let's put this in the same base. That means you are going to have um square root of 9 can be written as 3 to the power of what? 2. Okay, bracket 10. Alright, plus this is already in base 3, so we don't need to touch it. Alright, divided by 9 can be written as 3 to the power of 2. So 3 to the power of 2, okay, plus 3 to the power of 7. Okay, what do we do next? Looking at this, um, let's multiply this out, first of all, because we know that a to the power of x to the power of y, okay, the same thing as a to the power of x times y, which will give us a to the power of x, y. All right, so let's solve this thing. That means we can write this as what? Square root of 3 to the power of 2 times 10 will give us 20. Plus 3 to the power of 15. Alright? Divided by 3 to the power of 2 times 6 will give us 12. Plus 3 to the power of 7. Okay. Then let's proceed. Now, looking at this, you can still split this, right? This, you can still write it as 3 to the power of 20 is the same thing as 15 plus 5, right? 15 plus 5. Okay. Plus 3 to the power of 5, or 15, sorry. Divided by 3 to the power of 15, 12 can be written as um, 5 plus 7, right? So let's write it like that. 5 plus 7 plus 3 to the power of 7. Okay, we continue. <laughs> we write this as, um, if this is the first time you're coming across this channel, please don't hesitate to do what, to subscribe to the channel and also on your notification bell so that you don't miss my next class. Okay? All right, so what do we do next? We all know that in indices, in indices, um, when you have a to the power of what? X plus Y. All right, that it is equal to a to the power of x times a to the power of y. Yes, it seems as a to the power of x times a to the power of y. So we are going to apply this particular law here. So we are going to write this as what? 3 to the power of 15 times 3 to the power of 5. All right, plus 3 to the power of 15 divided by... The same thing goes here. So I'm going to write this as 3 to the power of 5 times 3 to the power of 7, all right, plus 3 to the power of 7. Okay, now looking at this now, we all know that we can actually factorize something out from here and here. Yes, we can. So let's factorize this out. That means you are going to have square root of here, 3 to the power of 15 is common to this and this. So we are going to bring this out. And when we open the brackets, when this is divided by this, you notice that this, we cancel this. You are left with 3 to the power of 5, right? Yeah, so you have 3 to the power of 5. Plus, when 3 to the power of 15 is divided by 3 to the power of 15, you have 1. So you have 1. Divided by, we are going to do the same thing here. What they have in common is what? 3 to the power of 7. So we are going to factorize that out. Now when this is divided by 3 to the power of 7, you have 3 to the power of 5 remaining. Alright. Plus, when this is divided by this, you have 1. Okay. Notice that this and this are the same. So we can actually cancel them out. So we are now left with what? Square root of what? 3 to the power of 15 divided by 3 to the power of 7. Okay, we are going to apply this law of indices. This law that states that a to the power of x divided by a to the power of y, okay, is equal to a to the power of x minus y, x minus y. So let's apply this to this. So we can write this as square root of what? 3 to the power of 15 minus 7. So this same thing as square root of what? 3 to the power of 8. Now, 
we all know that square root of anything is that in raised to the power of half, right? So we can now write this as 3 to the power of 8 raised to the power of half. Now, also note that when you have something like this, you can actually multiply this by this, okay? So when this is multiplied by this, you will have 4. So that means we have this to be 3 to the power of 4, which is equal to what? 81. Thank you so much for watching and do have a great day. Bye.